All right, all you trash kickers in Doomland. Welcome back to another GZ Doom Builder tutorial episode here. Uh, this time I'm going to be showcasing you how to go about making a sliding door in your Doom map. Uh, keep in mind that uh, this only works in uh, Z Doom style maps. So, like, say if your map is in UDMF or Hexen or whatever. Um, Sliding doors only works for those. It does not work in Vanilla Doom. Keep that in mind. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is open up GZ Doom Builder. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a new file. Uh, let's see here. Doom 2.1. Yeah, you're going to need that. Um, you have to have an eye water, otherwise... The wads, the map that you're gonna try to open, it's not gonna um, load. So that's why you have to have an IWAD. Um, I just stick with Doom 2. Let's see here. Uh, map slot. I mean, it's whatever map slot. I'm gonna go with map one for simplistic reasons. So, okay. So what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to draw two rooms, okay? I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this thing over. Okay. So you got two rooms now, okay? The, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to connect those two rooms together, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and drag the vertices over. Okay, so now you have connected the two rooms, okay? The next thing you're going to need is a player one start. Yeah, you have to have a player start because without it, then your map is not going to start. So, it, you get like an error message uh, saying that there's no player start so you have to have a player start um, okay the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need to draw out this sector here okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and yeah this is just so that it'll actually look like a um, uh, surface of the door sliding upon it's like a train track you know okay so you got the door track I mean, you don't really have to do that but I did it anyway just because okay uh, the next thing you're gonna need is you're going to need a poly object start spot okay so and the angle here represents the poly object's number. So, in this instance, you want to give it number one. That will be the poly object's number. The angle is the poly object's number. Okay. So, let's see here. You get the start spots because that's where, that's where it starts. Uh, the next thing that you're going to need is a dummy sector. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw out this uh, dummy sector here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out this sector here. Like that. Um, you're definitely going to want to give these a, a texture. You do not want that ugly Hall of Mirrors effect. Okay. So, I'm going to go with Big Door 2. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the other line depths a door tracks uh, texture. Okay. Yeah, this is just so it doesn't look ugly. That's the reason why I'm doing this. Okay. So now you have a dummy sector. You have uh, this door here. Okay. 
Now, the next thing you're going to need is a poly object anchor, okay? And the poly object anchor and the start spot, the the angles have to match up, okay? You have to have the matching numbers or it will not work. You, you may not even be able to play the map if you um, have a, um, any poly object uh, mistakes on your map, so... I mean, like, if, if these two don't match specifically, then you may not even be able to load the map. So there you go. Okay, so you got your anchor, and you also got your start spot. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is a poly object start line. It'll be this one here. Okay. So. Poly objects, and then... You'll be uh, given it a start line, and then of course, as I said, you it needs to match up with what the anchor and the start spots are. So I'm going to give this one. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to give assign these a uh, poly object door slide. Okay, now keep in mind that. In UDMF, okay, you you um you have to select these uh, trigger types, okay, at least one of them, okay. I wouldn't say you have to select multiple uh, trigger types, but you gotta select at least one of them, or otherwise your door is not gonna work. It's not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna put uh, when player presses use. So action would be poly object door slide, okay? And then you have this poly object number, make sure you give it one. And as far as the movement angles concerns, I'm, I'm gonna change the moving distance to 128 because that's the length of the line depth. So I give it 128. The movement angle is basically the angle you want the door to move. So now in UDMF, the great thing about this is that you actually are given an, um, a graphical user interface where you can uh, select the the spot in which you want your door to move at. Because in hex and format, you have to manually put in the um, angle. And the only way to know uh, that your door is going to slide the correct way is you have to consult like Doom Wiki. Now UDMF, however, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So I would select south. Okay, because that's where the door is going to be moving towards. Okay. So you got angle of 192. All right, so here you have it. So you got your sliding door. Um, if you want to make a, a pair of sliding doors, I mean, the process is similar. Um, the only thing that's different is you are going to have to mirror the poly objects, but it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. So, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test this thing just to make sure that it works. Okay. So I'm going to name this file sliding door because this is a um, tutorial on how to go about making a sliding door. Okay. There it is, sliding door. I'm going to go ahead and launch this thing in. Okay, so you got your door. Now let's test it. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about unaligned textures. See? You see how the door moves south? And 
And then you see the door tracks here. So yeah, um, this is uh, basically how you go about making a sliding door. I'm going to go ahead and exit out now. Alright all you trash kickers in Doomlands, um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you'd like to see more of my activities and you have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss another upload from me. Also, make sure you share my content um, on social media since uh, YouTube is not recommending my content as much. Um, also, PayPal is in the description for anyone who wants to help this channel out on revenue. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope that all of you have an excellent Labor Day.